getting the leaf battery replaced today under warranty. You can see it's fully charged, indicating 46 miles of range and only eight bars of capacity. All right, driving to the dealer. And uh, before anybody gets too upset about driving here with the, uh, the camera filming, I should let you know that this is California. And there's basically a social media exemption for anything that's prohibited while you're driving. So, so the LEAF has a five year, 60,000 mile battery capacity warranty. They guarantee 70% capacity in that time. And my car with about 47,000 miles on it dropped below 70%. Uh, the charge capacity indicator dropped to eight bars from 12. So that means that I was eligible to get the battery brought back up to spec. And all that Nissan had guaranteed was that if the battery dropped to eight bars, they would make whatever changes were necessary, maybe replace a few of the individual cells inside to bring it back up to nine bars. Um, you know, not a very appealing prospect because that means you might have to keep going back to you know replace a few individual cells and bring it up to nine. So the good news is Nissan has promised to replace the battery with a brand new 2015 model and uh, in fact that's what they're delivering. So it's supposed to be getting what's called the Lizard battery. It's made for hot weather or actually it's just made to cool more efficiently than the old batteries and it's supposed to give the battery, um, supposed to preserve the battery's charge better in hot weather and the uh, life of the battery is supposed to not degrade as rapidly as the previous one since it's cooling more efficiently. So, so far during this process, it's been, I gotta say, it's been pleasant. Nissan has been really responsible. I've had a person from Leaf Customer Service calling me regularly, giving me updates, letting me know what battery they're providing, when the battery's coming. And uh, they've been re really nice at uh, Simi Valley Nissan too. They're giving me a, a loaner. I have 19 miles range, it's actually going up as I drop down this long hill. Alright, just about arriving at the dealership. And let's take a look here. Driven less than 27 miles, down to three bars, 16 indicated range. So clearly something's going on with the battery here and I'm very happy we're gonna be brought up to the latest and the greatest. Arriving at first Nissan in Simi Valley where they have a GTR parked in the uh, Leaf electric car charging parking space. So how many uh, days repair is this going to be? Is it going to be uh, one day or two days? I think days? it might be two days. Two days? Okay. And this is all done um, with... Right here. Here, so you don't have somebody coming in from Nissan, it's nope. just the mechanics here? Do they have to decouple the body to get to uh, the battery, do you know? Put, um, we have a special jig that happens. Uh, and when I say jig, it's a apparatus that is able to uh, put the car in the hoist and remove certain parts and then go from there. But have they ever done a total battery replacement on a Leaf here? Uh, once. Once? once yeah. Wow, so this is only the second one. So this is it? That bottom box is your Leaf battery. Really? Wow. Alright, that's a pretty it's big a box. It's a open, exposed battery inside. Yeah. And then they literally swap cases with yours all in there. But as soon as that gets opened up, we have to put orange cones all the way around. They have more protective gear and everything else. Wow. So, Is that top one also a battery for something else? Or no, that's a sunroof. Oh, sunroof. Okay. Wow. So just for scale, what would you say that is? About five and a half feet by five feet? That's pretty big. Yeah, well, you have to also, there's insulation and packing and everything else. Yeah. So if something did punch the side, it doesn't go into the battery. Would you have any idea what they're going to do with the old battery? It gets recycled back to Nissan. They basically yeah. come pick it up again. They do? Yep. Do you know if they ship that back to Japan or if that stays here in California? No clue. No they clue. send me the shipping information and I send it back. Okay. Very cool. Well, I'm not going to touch it. I don't want to get electrocuted or anything here. But Well, you know, you can touch the box. It's uh -huh. insulated at that point, but... 
We just can't open, we can't expose it, we can't do anything else with it. This has got my name on it and everything. Very cool. This is a new plug that required a retrofit to get to be compatible with the 2011. Apparently this is the uh, new battery created. The parts manager who showed me around was kind enough to take these pictures for me. Uh, my guess is that that's the new battery uh, being wheeled over to be installed and the underside of my car with no battery whatsoever. This is my guess the retrofit plug that adapts the uh, new battery to the old car. The old battery on a dolly ready to be sent back to Nissan. And here's a little roller skate car that they, uh, they rented for me, which, you know, if you don't take advantage of that, you're crazy. So we put our dog in there and went to the beach. Daisy, go in the water. Come on, in the water. Go in the water. the replacement let's turn it on and see what it looks like okay 106 mile range well let's give it a little bit of an experiment looks like I have to reset my clock and everything but that's to be expected hopefully let's see did my well, discerning audience they it's good. All my memories are there. August, we did it. Didn't erase any of my radio memories. My telephone's still connecting. It's kind of creeping me up. Cool. Oh, yes. Alright, just about home now. And uh, let's see, driven about 17 miles. And uh, at this point, I've dropped down three bars out of 12. So I'm down to nine. This is a huge improvement from uh, the battery that just got replaced. If I'd driven that same drive, uh, pretty much, you know, keeping up with traffic 70 plus miles an hour on the 23 freeway from Simi Valley to uh, Thousand Oaks. Uh, that's a very hilly freeway, a lot of up and down, and it would just eat up the battery. Um, with the old battery, it'd probably almost be dead just one way at the speeds that I was driving today. So, wow, what a great injection of life into my leaf. Feels like feels like I have a brand new car and we'll see if this new 2015 battery that they put in there actually does better than the original 2011 battery. It's supposed to be more efficient in hot weather, uh, not lose as much uh, capacity in the heat. So that'll be good for Southern California even though it doesn't get super hot where I live very often. But just want to say thanks to Nissan, you guys did, you, you stepped up, you did more than the minimum when I bought the car. All that was promised was uh, sending it back to basically sending it back to nine bars you didn't guarantee any better than that and you said that if there were any issues with the battery you'd go in there and replace just the individual cells and not the whole battery so Nissan you guys instead of giving me an OEM 2011 battery you gave me the 2015 the latest and greatest technology and uh, first Nissan I know it was only the second time you guys have swapped out a Leaf battery but you did it in a day I got the battery quick gave me a, a loaner car even though it was kind of a little roller skate of a loaner car so thanks, I would say if you have a leaf, I think you can take some confidence in my situation. Um, Nissan definitely stood behind their car, did more than the minimum, and my car is basically like a new car for the next few years. I'm gonna feel like it's just brand new. So consider me a happy customer.